a growing problem on another Vermont lake. Milfoil rapidly spreads, but not everyone's always on the same page about how to handle the problem. Rutland Bureau Chief Connor Olathorne dives into the debate on Lake St. Catherine. In these waters behind me, there's a plant called Eurasian milfoil, an invasive species that's taken over the bottom of Lake St. Catherine and many others across Vermont. But how to remove it is causing quite a stir in wells. Spent a lot of time in the 1960s fishing with my father, 70s as well. And the lake was pristine, crystal clear. There were plenty of native aquatic plants which you want to support fishing and wildlife. But those conditions are something of the past. Jeffrey Crandall runs the Milfoil Control Committee with the Lake St. Catherine Association. Locals have been battling the invasive plant for decades and are still searching for the best treatment. They've used only state-permitted herbicide treatment and even tried diver-assisted suction harvesting, but it still hasn't stopped the spreading. You know, let's say you've got a half acre of milfoil. If you don't do something about it before you know it, you have 10 and then the 10 is 100 and so on. Lake St. Catherine Area Association hopes to continue to use the herbicide treatment, but not everyone is on board. And it just isn't possible for, you know, suction harvesting to be the sole control method. The reason is it's just there's too much milfoil. Chemicals going into a water body should be last resort. Former Lake Area Association president and Wells resident David Emmons would rather see a long-term study on what's best for the health of the lake. I would tell you that there's a better way to do it and you don't have to rely on chemicals and just because a chemical will kill a plant you have to understand what are the unintended consequences. Similar battles have unfolded on other Vermont lakes like Lake Bomazine where state officials denied a permit to use the herbicide last summer but the state has previously issued numerous permits including to Lake St. Catherine to use the chemical to battle invasive plants. The state is still searching from local public feedback before confirming or denying that permit for herbicides. Now, no matter what come next boating season, dive teams will still be in the waters removing milfoil. For now in Wells, Connor Olathorne, Channel 3 News.